June 23rd, 2020, the day that I sat down and decided once and for all, I was sick of being average. Growing up, I had always been decent, but nothing exceptional. I was pretty small, quiet, and wasn't sure exactly the path I wanted to take. I had been doing YouTube for years at this point, playing sports, and to the outside eye, it looked like my life was perfect, but I wasn't satisfied. And sure, I'm still not. The day came where I decided I was going to stop looking at everyone around me and lock in and just become the best version of myself. And let me tell you, this is easier said than done. Nonetheless, now that I have been at this journey for about four years now, I have learned a ton of things. But nothing I have learned on this journey has meant more to me than that decision on June 23rd, 2020 to completely reinvent my life and you're next hello ladies and gentlemen today i'm bringing you a banging video that i have spent a ton of time on because i genuinely think this is the single most important topic of all time but this video is not just about how i reinvented my life i'm also going to be helping you reinvent your life while walking you through the protocol the entire way but what is this protocol i've sat down and built out exactly what has helped me over these past four years avoiding the things that have been a big waste of time so in order for you to get the most benefit out of this video, I highly, highly recommend going down to the description. I have a full little PDF put together of the entire protocol that you can sit down and write through. If you're not doing this, it's going to be very hard to actually change your life because you're not going to have a clear framework on what you're going to be doing. But this is going to be something that you could look back on over and over and it is completely free for you. Section one that we're going to be talking about is purpose. If you ever want to reinvent your life and become the person that you want to become, you have to have a direction you're going to be going in. You can't just blindly try to figure out where you're going to be going in a timely manner. So in order to do that, we have a few questions that we need to answer to help you figure out where you want to be. And these are the exact same things that I did over the past like few years of my life. The great part is now it's just in one simple piece of paper where me instead, I was literally all over the place throughout these entire few years trying to figure out each little individual thing where you don't have to figure that out. You just have to do the reinventing. So the first thing you need to figure out is what you want your life to look like in 10 years. So a while back, I sat down and really, really thought about this. Who is the person that I want to become 10 years from now? And a very funny Funny thing is, on my first date with my girlfriend, actually, this is one of the questions she asked me. And she said every single date she went on, she asked people this exact same question. Where do you want to be in 10 years? And she said 90% of people had no idea where they wanted to be in 10 years. Because most people just don't think about it. They think about now, they think about the problems they're incurring now, but not what they want to be like in 10 years. Since I've done this, I had an exact answer of where I wanted to be. I wanted to have a family. I wanted to be financially free. I wanted to be able to travel the world. And I wanted to spend time with my kids. Those were my non-negotiables on where I wanted to be in 10 years. I wanted to be fit, blah, blah, blah. But those were really the key components. Once you figure that out, you need to figure out what you genuinely enjoy doing. Here's the thing. A lot of the time, we get stuck chasing money or doing things that other people want us to do. And that is how you get into some career path or just get your life in a place where you're not happy. So I want you to just list down one thing that you genuinely enjoy doing. When I sat down and thought about this, this might have been like a year and a half ago. It really just came to helping people. That's the thing that I enjoy most out of anything else was helping people. Next, I want you to kind of think about things in a different framework. Most people, when they're thinking of what they want to get into or their career path they want to go into, they're thinking about how can I make enough money to achieve what I want to look like in 10 years and where I want my life to be like in 10 years. Because a lot of the time, unfortunately, you do need money to do stuff in life. But I want you to think income was not a factor at all and you got paid the same amount. Let's say a hundred thousand dollars no matter what career path you were going into whether you were an entrepreneur whether you were a teacher a physical therapist whatever it may be what would you do if you got paid the same amount for any job you did this one was actually pretty hard for me because my entire life i've always thought how am i going to be able to make enough money after thinking about this for a while oddly enough because this is never something i ever had interest in whatsoever which was very telling because the thought didn't even cross my mind because i knew they didn't make too much money in most cases but with money not being a factor this popped in my mind and i was like oh my gosh it makes so much sense now it would be some sort of like therapy i don't know why but i really just enjoy therapy i like talking to people in that way i love helping them solve their problems it's just really entertaining i have no idea why and then after thinking about all of these i'm like where do all of these really come together like where do i go from here obviously like therapy blah 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 income is a factor so i just went down and made a huge list of things that i literally just cannot live without. This helped me figure out how much income I wanted to make, the things that I had to have in my life, so on and so forth. And then I took a look at that entire list and I tried to figure out what all of those things had in common. And mine 
kind of like I mentioned earlier, just came down to helping people and having good, strong relationships, being close with people and being a good human. Now, once you figure out your purpose, your life is going to have so much more direction. I know it did for me because once I knew what my purpose was and what I genuinely enjoyed doing and what made me happy, I had a framework on how I was going to operate my entire life. If what I was doing did not align with those items that I just listed out or the things that you list out here, then you should not be doing it. All right, now let's switch up the scenery here. Huh? <laughs> Section number two, we're going to be talking about skill set. Now, unfortunately, sometimes in life, the things you enjoy doing, you're not necessarily good at. And a lot of the times, this is the case for me. I've had situations like this, which kind of sucks, but you know what? At the end of the day, it does not matter. You have to find that perfect balance. So we have to figure out that tiny little section of things that both align with our skill set and our purpose or what we enjoy doing. Here's how I went about that. After failing a few different things, I sat down and I thought, okay, I like doing this, but I might not be good at it. So what am I good at? And I made a big old list of them, a big old list. And to get kind of the opposite effect, I thought, okay, now what do I absolutely suck at? Made a list of those too. Then I sat down and did a little bit of research on what some of the skills that are needed are for being the person I want to be. What kind of things do I have to be good at to become that person in that career path, whatever it may be, whatever your purpose is really. And I made sure I had all of those. If I did have them, I would circle them. If I didn't have them or they were in my terrible section, then that's something we need to reconsider. Now, 99% of the time, you're not going to have all the skills required to be great in your purpose. No one is perfect. So you need to figure out how to supplement that in some way. You have to be aware of the things you're good at and the things you're bad at if you want to be successful and be able to delegate some of those tasks in some way to someone who is good at those things so that you can thrive in the things you enjoy doing and the things that you're good at. Now, Section number three, mindset. So after kind of figuring out this little overlap of things I enjoy doing and the things that I was good at, where I wanted to be in life, I still was having a little bit of problems. I was still having self-doubt. I was still having imposter syndrome. So there were still some things that I had to work on, which is why I dove into section three, which is mindset. If you ever want to get exactly to where you want to be and become that person that you listed out in 10 years time, you're going to have to have a strong mind. The hard part is this is not created overnight and it's also not going to happen from one YouTube video, for example, this video. It's gonna be a repetitive journey to get a strong mind. So what I did next was list down some of the driving factors that drive me in my life. The reason why when I'm stressed, I keep going. The reason that when I'm unmotivated or don't wanna do something, why I keep going. When I first did this though, I made them kind of surface level. I said, I want to be rich, be able to travel, very surface level things. The problem is when you're in those kind of negative mindset states, you want something that's going to hit the soul when you think about it. Something that's saying, I don't have the opportunity to slack off right now. I need to do what has to be done. So when it's surface level, those things don't hit that hard and you're like, ah, I can sleep in a little bit longer. I can skip my workout, it doesn't really matter. So I want you to make these deep. Maybe it's self-fulfillment. Maybe it's protecting your future family and having the ability to do so. Whatever it may be, list those down. As many as you can think of. Section number four, we don't gotta move too far for. It's a pretty simple one, action. None of these three sections are going to matter if you don't take action. That's one thing I will say that I've always been pretty good at is taking action, sometimes a little bit too eagerly, causing me to fail a lot. But here's the thing, people are so scared of failure, but failure is not a bad thing. You're always going to get something out of a failure. You're going to get knowledge and you're gonna get experience. Two things that are going to help you on your future attempts and endeavors. But a lot of people kind of get analysis paralysis. They want everything to be perfect before they start. But the truth is nothing is ever going to be perfect. You are never going to have that perfect time to start. So just start now. Don't overthink things. Don't try to have everything thought out before you start because I promise you no matter how hard you think you're never going to be able to solve every single problem before you, they actually start coming at you. Speaking of action, I have been working on something huge for the past couple of months and I still got a lot more months to come working on it. But if you enjoyed this kind of video, learning, better in yourself, blah, 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 you're probably going enjoy what I have to come. I'm not going to say too much until the official release, but if you want more info and might be interested in it at some point, then feel free to DM me on Instagram. CarsonJobs27 is going to pop up right here and I'll keep you in the loop on it. And don't worry, 
I don't got a single thing to sell you. All right, finally, section number five, the most important one. I think I might've said that about every section, but this one is actually very important and that's gonna be discipline. Motivation is what so many people try to seek because when you're motivated, things feel great to do, right? You're motivated, you have a great workout, you're motivated, you get a lot of work done, blah, blah, blah. The problem is motivation comes and goes all of the time, which makes it kind of impossible to rely on because it's inconsistent. So what you need to do instead is use discipline. And really the best way that I can describe discipline is doing the hard thing, especially when you don't feel like it. Discipline is knowing that you have to do something, thinking back to those driving factors you have, the reason you're doing it, the reason you started, and just doing it no matter how you feel. And once you can master discipline and doing things when you don't feel like it, that is where true success is made. Once you have discipline, everything in life is going to be a million times better, every aspect of your life. What I do a lot of the time and kind of how I started getting into discipline is I would just think about what would the best version of myself be doing right now? Sometimes I'll be laying in bed, watching YouTube at night, just having my downtime. And I would think, what would that version of myself be doing right now? I'd probably be sleeping so we could wake up at a good time and be energized and get enough sleep because that's the version of myself that completes all of the goals that they set out to achieve. And that's why I don't because I have those little hiccups where I enjoy being comfortable just a little bit too much. And when you can get in that framework of thinking what that person would be doing, do that. And ladies and gentlemen, you will have a changed life. So that's that. I hope at least one of you filled that out because I promise you it's going to change your life. And I hope this motivated you to at least just become 1% better because that's all we could do every single day. I appreciate all of your guys' support through this journey and there's so much more to come. Just you wait. Peace. <laughs>